Hello everybody out there and everyone, everybody in YouTube land. I'm this M Maven. Welcome back to my channel shopping and since I'm wearing my Johnny Cash t-shirt. Yes, now it says Johnny Cash, Nashville, Tennessee. I have a small Dollar Tree haul to share with you. I was going to incorporate it into my vlog, but I know some of you don't watch my vlogs and it's been quite a, a, a while, quite a while since I've been to the Dollar Tree. I only spent $12, but I found some interesting stuffs. I'll put in this bag here that I got from the supermarket. They charged me 75 cents for this dinky bag. Anyway, so let me show you what I picked up. I got two of my favorite things that I like to pick up at the Dollar Tree, which I always end up collecting dust besides makeup. And that is books and DVDs. The books I never get around to reading and the DVDs I never get around to watching most of them. So they have all the new 2022 calendars. They have a ton um, of farmhouse calendars. They have at least three different kinds. Um, I was going to get all three, but I didn't like all three. I And to tell you the truth, I like the farmhouse calendar that they had last year, the one that I'm using now, better than any of the three that they currently have. But I did pick up one. I think it's the one with the ugliest cover, but the best inside pages. There are these people next to me with paper bags full of stuff. These people... They bought the Funfetti giant family size sugar can, uh, candy cereal. And they have a little girl with them that keeps saying, take me to Tuck E. Cheese. Okay. So this is the farmer's market calendar that I recommend. And I'll just show you some of the, I'll put this on my Instagram so you can see it better. So yeah. I like to use a farmer's market calendar in my kitchen. Then for at work, which I have now, I like to use either a, ser a serene landscape kind of moment calendar or what I have now, which is a Christian Bible verse calendar because I do like the Bible verses next to me um, at, you know, next to my desk, hanging up on my bulletin board, which gives me the faith inspiration of the day. Everybody's looking at me like I'm a lunatic recording in my car. Just want to let you know. So I did get this landscape two pack landscape calendar. And, oh, and they had one on birds. They had birds. That was really nice. So this is some tranquil, serene things. So if I'm not going to go with this, the Christian one, if they don't get a Christian one, which I didn't, I didn't see a Bible verse one, I will go with the landscapes. Um, then I got this magazine. I usually don't get any magazines from the Dollar Tree because there's none that I like. They're all crafting, cooking, knitting stuff that I don't do. And so I got this one. It says Rewind. Nostalgia, puzzles, prizes, comics, retro TV. So this says collecting Elvis. I really like this one. This is the fat Elvis, of course. Okay. Oh, and then on the back, on the back, this is cool. Look on the back, it's, it's got the skinny Elvis. So anyway, it's a solid gold memorabilia, Graceland gifts, how you can own a piece of the king and more. So this has stuff in here on Elvis, but it also has stuff in here about other things like I Love Lucy. Look at this thing on Graceland. It's very cool. Now I'm not an Elvis fan. I think my mom would really like this. I should have picked up an extra one, but I think my mom would really like going through this. I think she would really enjoy it. It just has some really, it has like old retro cool stuff in it. So um, I think that uh, that she would really enjoy this. I really should have picked up an extra one. It says the past is a blast. Oh my God. Look at this. His ring. Look, it says his horseshoe ring. $204,800. You got to figure that's in the 70s, right? Okay. This guy's wearing... Oh, he had a cool Rick and Morty shirt. Then I got these two books, which I'm not going to get around to reading. This one seems really interesting. They both seem really interesting. This says, tell me more. 
Stories About the 12 Hardest Things I'm Learning to Say by Kelly Corrigan. It says New York Times bestseller. And then it, it's basically different phrases that people have a hard time saying. Like, no. and uh, Like, here are the phrases. I, it's like this. Tell me more. I don't know. I know. No. Yes. I was wrong. Good enough. I love you. No words at all. And then it says, this is it. Onward and this is it. So phrases that she learned how to say. Stories about the 12 hardest things I'm learning to say. So, so that was interesting. I really should go back in and get an extra one of this Elvis um, thing. I don't know if my mom would really look at it or if she would be like, meh. Um, hmm. Look, he's got Wonder Woman, Three's Company. I don't know. I got to look through it myself. I might keep it myself. Um, then the other book that I got is called The Waters and the Wild. I actually opened up a box of books that they hadn't opened yet because I wanted to see what else was in there. And it was all stuff that was already out except this one. So this says, I'm just going to read a little bit of it. This is Mark $27. Does it have a new book smell? Yep. So this says, Daniel A. Bend is a single parent in New York City with a successful therapy practice and a comfortable life. An apartment on the Upper East Side, a teenage daughter, a peaceful daily routine. When one of his patients commits suicide, it is a tragedy. But one easily explained, the young woman suffered from depression and drug addiction. But soon after, Daniel receives an ominous note that makes him question the circumstances surrounding the patient's death. He is provided with a provocative series of clues, um, a mysterious key, a cryptic poem, a photograph with a chilling message. A few days later, his daughter abruptly disappears. And then it just goes on. That sounds really cool. If I ever, like I said, I was going to read on my vacation. Did I read on my vacation? No, I didn't. Okay. I got two more birthday bags because I actually know someone that had a birthday and I needed this size bag I didn't have this size bag I wanted it to be the size of the gift so this is a two for a two for one um, this is time to celebrate which is the one I'm gonna use and then I'm gonna save this one which just says yay um, this is cute it has teal and this is stripes so there's that I got this loofah. I'm going to have to tag at the Daily Jaws. Yes, I know this is a loofah for a child. I might just use it for decoration. I may not use it in the shower, but why the hell not? At the Daily Jaws is going to love this. I'm going to put this picture up for him or her. Just like this. At the Daily Jaws. <laughs> okay. I picked up some Sweet Mate because I needed some from for at work I ran out of sweet mate and I was using actual sugar which is a no-no for diabetics I got this magnetic list pad because it was different it says each new day rise with the sun so that was different this woman is actually carrying two armfuls of stuff out of the Dollar Tree because she don't want to pay them for a bag I got yes I know this is for a child this I'm gonna keep for like either a gag gift or maybe I don't know they had one that had that was yellow and I think it had lemonade in it uh, lemonade picture this is unicorn so this is so cute this is why I don't go to the Dollar Tree because I buy stuff I don't need and then I picked up two DVDs this one gremlin now, this is obviously just like a knockoff of the actual movie Gremlins. It's not the real Gremlin. It says, you can't kill it. You can't escape it. You can only give it to someone you love. This has a good review from In Cool News, which, some, which they, they're a trustworthy uh, group. Um, so anyway, I've had bad luck with Dollar Tree movies. So it says, two years after the murder of his 10-year-old son, Adam Thatcher receives a mysterious box from a relative 
containing a terrible secret, a creature that will brutally kill everyone he cares about one by one. The only way to release himself from the curse is to give the box to someone he loves, continuing the never-ending circulation of this ancient evil. And you know this is a good quality movie because they spelled the word evil wrong. They spelled evil wrong. They spelled evil E-V-E-I-L. Evil is E-V-I-L. Right? Evil? E-V-I... They spelled that wrong. Anyway, then I got this because I like Simon Pegg. And I haven't seen him in a movie in quite a while. I can't even remember what the name of the last movie I saw Simon Pegg in. It was something about him being like a, a, a puny weakling. And he's got to prove himself to get the woman. I forget what the name of that movie was. Anyway, this also has a good review from Ain't It Cool News. So they're just handing out the good reviews. It says, kill me three times. Once is never enough. I don't know. Uh, it says, kill me three times is a darkly comedic thriller from rising star director Criv Stenders. I don't know who that is. Simon Pegg plays the cunning assassin Charlie Wolf, who isn't, who discovers he isn't the only person trying to kill the temptress of a sun-drenched surfing town. Charlie quickly finds himself at the center of three tales of murder, mayhem, blackmail, and revenge. And it got a good review from The Village Voice. And it got a good review from Bloody Disgusting. So it got quite a, a few good reviews that they put on the um, on the front, on the on the uh, the outside here. So we will have to see what that's about. Now I'm going to put all this stuff back in the bag and the boyfriend is waiting for me to pick him up. So I have to go. All right. Comment, read, subscribe. I will see you all in a future video. But until then, goodbye, everyone. Actually, until then, goodbye, everyone out there in YouTube land.